I do not like to mislead people. Doing so betrays my uncompromising commitment to integrity. That sounds good on paper, but my friends will tell you that in practice, it's just a hollow excuse for me to justify why I have no social skills and act like a rude a Years ago, I had a demented nursing home patient who'd begin every visit with, where's my wife? And I wanted to be honest with him because I genuinely thought that it was the right thing to do. So I'd reply to him, sir, your wife died years ago. And he would start bawling. No, she was my everything. How, how can I go on living without her? And the rest of the visit wasn't productive because he was actively grieving and didn't want to talk about anything else. Because he had dementia, he wouldn't remember our conversations. So I suppose I neither lost nor ever established rapport with him. That said, every time I went to see him, I'd immediately cause him to start grieving all over again. Eventually, I'm a slow learner, I realized that I wasn't actually providing any therapeutic value to him as a physician. I was just torturing him out of some misguided commitment to brutal honesty. Is it okay to lie to demented patients? I actually don't know if there's a right answer to that. My current response to that question is, well, another question. Is it okay to lie to young children? I think a lot of adults are okay with lying to kids about certain things. Kids don't necessarily have the capacity to understand all the information, so disclosing everything to a child isn't always healthy or helpful. Likewise, our patients with dementia won't necessarily be able to process everything that we say, so these days I'm not so forthcoming if I think it'd just be cruel. Any questions from the audience? Uh, okay, so the question was, does this dress make me look fat?